Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install the SQLite database engine on Ubuntu Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in order to install the database SQLite, which is a very famous and free database engine, which is mostly used in uh, mobile applications, but also used by some famous companies like Airbus or Firefox. So the first thing in order to install it is to add its repository. So I will add the repository to our machine here. You will find all the commands in the description. Okay. So after adding the repository for the SQLite database engine, So here we, we enter and the repository is being added to our packages. Then we have to update our packages using the command update update. Okay. Okay now, so now we can install our database engine. So sudo apt-gate and this time we use the command install and SQLite tree and we hit enter. Okay and now as you can see the package are being downloaded and installed in our machine. Okay now we have finished the install process so we can actually execute the command SQLite tree in order to see if it's really installed and here we go as you can see here we have installed version 3.19.3 okay and this is the command prompt for the SQLite we can of course type the help but you have to precede each command with the dot so I will just type dot then help so you can see all the commands that we can use with our database okay so let's for example I will quit for quitting just you type dot then quit okay so as an example, let's create a simple database just, just to show you how we can use it. Okay. So in order to create a database, it's pretty easy. You have to type the command SQLite tree and space. Then we have to type the name of our database. So let's call it, for example, company dot DB. Okay, now we have created our database. In order to see if it's really created, we can type the SQLite command that databases. Okay. So here you can see that we are using this database here called company.db and here is actually the full path to this database. Okay. We can of course create a table if you want so we use for that the SQL language so let's just create a simple table so create table we'll name it for example contacts okay so let's create first uh, actually column let's put for example ID with C which is an integer then a name is a text the type of this field actually is text then we can put for example a title which is also text okay or it's better to make it a variable so let's actually put it var car 15 it's better we do the same for the name var car 15 
So as you may know, every SQL actually command must be finished with the column. So here is, uh, we have here a syntax error because we forget actually another parenthesis after the varchar 50, okay? So I will just add another parenthesis here. And here we go, we have created actually our first table. So in order to make sure that we have created, we type the command dot tables, okay? So as you can see now, we have created the table contacts. So let's insert some values into this table. So we use the SQL language, insert into the table name, which is contacts, and we put our values. So as an idea, I can just make an integer, for example, one, then as name, we can just type uh, John Smith, for example. John Smith. And as a title, I will make it, for example, employee. And this is our first insert. Okay. Let's add another value. So for this ID, I will put just two. Then the name, let's make something else. For example, car Lewis. And look, let's make it, for example, a character. Okay. Let's add a third value. For example, Max Robbins. And as a title, let's make it TP Admin. Okay. So now we have populated our contacts table. Let's just uh, actually query this table. So just to see the values that we have entered, we can execute SQL command select all from our table which is contacts and not to forget the column at the end the comma actually at the end and here we go you can see actually all the data we have entered you can of course format the output for example we have to change the mode to column okay and the headers for example to on so we will see on so actually those two commands are just parameters for our sql or sqlite uh, database engine so now let's execute our select query as you can see now the output is more formatted so there is a lot of commands that you can see using the dot help command you can for example dot type dot show to, sh to see the parameters of our database so there is a lot of command that you can execute in the SQLite it's a really interesting database it's free and it's small in size so that was just a brief introduction to this SQLite database engine as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.